Jazz Beer Reviews, Carlsberg Elephant. Okay, the Carlsberg Elephant. Now, this beer is 7.2%. It was launched in 1959. It says on its website it's a strong pilsner. Uh, Carlsberg Elephant is a true Carlsberg classic. First launched in 1959, it is strong like an elephant in both flavour and alcohol content. Offering adventurous beer drinkers across the continent a unique and exotic taste experience. Righto. We use mini glass. So, let's hit that there. Let's get into this mighty elephant. Good beer for a Sunday. Start early. Righto. It's in a green bottle, so I'll be looking out for the old skunk skunkiness that everyone goes on about. <laughs> Righto. Righto. It's a uh, a golden amber colour for sure. Uh, plenty of head there, at least two finger head. Uh, a little bit hazy. It's not as clear as day as I expected. Um, a little bit more, a little bit darker too than I expected in the colour. Uh, on the nose, yeah, a little bit of skunk, but it's not too bad. Head's making pretty hard to get a good smell on it, but yeah. It'll be skunk, but it's not too bad. It's what do you expect? Righto, let's get into it. Cheers. Mmm. Yes. Uh, um. A stronger beers. Oily mouthfeel. This is actually a bit more bitterness. Then uh, a beer reviewed yesterday, the two years extra dry platinum, uh, real bitter kick there. Yeah, it's got like a the mouth feels between light and medium, just in between there. I wouldn't say it's uh, light, light, but it's in there. I think with the the oily mouth feel, it um, yeah, it takes away that watery texture. Very sweet too. Sweet. Um, I'm surprised how sweet these are. I think most of the, um, the sweetness would be uh, fermented out of it, but uh, uh, with the bitterness too, there's a little bit of a dry, lingering finish to it. And uh, getting a good sized amount of lacing there. Heaps. Um, it's not too bad. It's a uh, it's a strong pilsner. Um, it's not too bad effort. It's I'm seeing with the the high percentage lagers and that it, it's a little bit harder. The mouthfeel suffers a little bit when the alcohol goes up. Uh, it's not like with the imperial stouts where they can uh, hide it behind a stack of roasted malts, you know, and, and get away with it. But uh, it's not too bad. I like the bittering to it. I like a little bit more bitter. It's uh, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's all right. It's uh, not a bad beer. So I, I wouldn't say, but I would say it's refreshing. I'd I'd say, yeah, on a nice balmy, balmy spring day, it'd be all right. But uh, I want to give this a, I want to give it a C plus. Yeah, it's good. Man, yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, I believe I suppose it's come away from Denmark. Could be wrong, but uh, I think they've got breweries everywhere. But uh, it, it's all right, definitely. Yeah, C plus. I got no drafts with it for what it is and the price. It's good. Righto. Cheese and beers. Till next time. See you later. Bye.